uh, my favorite day would be Sunday for the simple reason that that's the only single day that I don't have to work where I'm in my Zen mode I wake up nothing that I have to worry about I can wake up at any time um, do anything I want uh, because mon when Monday comes Monday to Saturday I'm working straight up simple as that single Sunday is actually devoted to my wife where whatever she wants to do whether that's dating going shopping watching a movie or fine dining that's what I do okay game um, I think games has its uses um, but it disconnects you from reality in my opinion um, when I was my wife on that moment on Sunday I'm deeply engaged where games, I'm not deeply engaged. Yes, it's casual playing, uh, where you don't have to think anything, but there is absolutely no human interaction or human connection. Uh, and that's the most critical part about anything in life anyways. I agree you have Facebooks, uh, and I use Facebooks and I have over 1,600 friends, but that is to maintain relationship. It is not, again, a deep connection. Um, and that's the problem with social networks. Right. There is a connection, but to me, it's on a very superficial level. Uh, especially half of my uh, friends on Facebook, I don't re really even fully know them well. I know them. I know who they are, what their names are, what they do, but that's at best. There is no deep connection, deep engagement, deep conversation on a higher level. Yeah, I mean, yes, technology like uh, uh, Skype, uh, or I, I think it's Google Chat, but basically Skype conference, yeah, I mean, that technology uh, allows you to uh, create a form of communication. Um, true, I mean, it can, but it can only help you, right? Uh, that's what, it can maybe act as a catalyst, um, but at the end of the day, it has to be face-to-face. -face. Uh, th that is the only way you can have real deep engagement. Good question. Um, because as great as finished products are, they're not innovative or they're not as inspiring as concepts are. Inspiration is, is the most important part. Because when you are inspired, the next day you go out and try to mimic it or try to do something. And that's the power of inspiration. When you are really inspired, your heart mm. is so excited that you want to do something. And concepts are just much more, uh, again, just much more exciting mm. than finished product. Uh, of course, finished product has its use. It's real, it's tangible, it's something that actually can function. But, uh, you know, Einstein said it best, you know, this, this great scientific guy, imagination is everything. Mm. and concepts are imaginations. My, my opinion uh, about concept, whether it is so far-fetched or whether people call it vaporware because it's so out there, is still the most critical part because it's, it's the starting of design, right? The, the end product, you may not get there right away, but say maybe 10, 20 years you will get there. But the important part, if you don't have the start, you will never get to the end, right? So again, no matter how far-fetched, it's okay. You got the starting point, and then you gotta pay your due diligence, follow your effort, and then eventually you'll get there. I honestly believe that. Again, not right away, but in time you will. is what I saw yesterday and today are truly innovative products. But let me define innovation, okay? Innovation in my mind is not about creating a product that is uh, more efficient, or faster, or cheaper than the existing product. Innovation, true innovation, is about making a new product that makes a previous product obsolete. That is true innovation. Uh, for example, I mean, if I have to use example for a real life product, I would say an iPad. Uh, iPad is, iPad in many ways made PC somewhat obsolete. My wife, my parents-in-law, uh, they have a hard time operating the PC by their own. 
but when you give them an iPad, okay, it, somehow, some ways, they are able to operate it without me teaching them. Again, that's true innovation. But in the concept, we see that on a bigger level. We see, again, tons of design that replaces existing models. That's true innovation. You cannot, that is the ultimate innovation in my eyes. The, the product concept that we viewed uh, yesterday and today, they're innovative, but what is equally innovative and inspiring are the jury members that I have dealt with. Uh, every single one of them here is trying to be the best version of themselves and therefore trying to make the biggest impact in the world. There's a big difference. There are a lot of people who want to make money, not wants to do something, but there are very few group of people that want to make an impact in society. And a lot of people here want to give back. And again, this, that's a big difference because the golden rule in, in life is the more you give, the more you get back. But I believe all 20 jury members are like that.